Matt Matros has won the 2012 World Series of Poker $1,500 No Limit Hold'em 6 Max event to capture his third gold bracelet in as many years. The New York based professional and card player columnist has incredibly obtained one gold bracelet each summer in 2010, 2011, and now in 2012. We caught up with Matros in this edition of Battle for the Bracelets. When the last card hit, it didn't really sink in yet. It was just stunning because I had gotten it in pretty bad shape. I had a flush draw with one card to come, and Mark Rodoja had the had a straight already. So uh, I, I had already mentally prepared to be back to even heads up and go back to battle. But instead, the flush card hit, and then instead of battling, it was all over. And I was just more stunned than anything else. And it's only just now starting to sink in how ridiculously unlikely and how just absurd the accomplishment is and I, I mean I'm I am proud of it but I'm not stupid enough to think that I was all me I mean I had a lot of help from the poker gods. Matro seemed determined to keep his perspective and remain humble despite his incredible success at the WSOP in the past three years but did admit that he has worked hard on his No Limit tournament game. I've spent a lot of time over the last year trying to improve my No Limit Hold'em game just to try to compete with some of the younger players who are playing so phenomenally well and I really think I really feel like I've made a lot of progress over the past year and I think that combined with catching a whole lot of cards allowed me to win. It's a little bit stunning to win a tournament with 1,600 people, but I do feel like I played my best, the best that I know how to play. Matros has spent a lot of time studying the game, applying the analytical skills he developed while attaining degrees from Yale and Sarah Lawrence to poker and spreading his knowledge as a columnist for card player and through poker coaching. After so much studying, it must feel good for Matros to pass the test so thoroughly. I'm definitely a thinking player, an analytical player. I've written over 100 columns for Card Player Magazine. I've been a coach at Card Runners for a few years now, and I have private clients, and I have my own book, Making of a Poker Player, which came out in 2005, which is a how-to slash memoir. I've always been a kind of player who spends more time than most thinking about the game, and maybe not as much playing it as some of the other players, which a lot of, this, a lot of the math type players do that, Bill Chen, Jaron Ankenman, those guys are, they show up at the World Series every year, but they're not kind of grinding out the schedule that some of the other guys do. And, I, and I'm similar, and I have nothing against the guys who grind it out. I think they play great, a lot of them, but that's just not my personality, it's not my style, and it's not the, the enjoyment that I get from the game. For me, it's more of a theoretical kind of puzzle-solving enjoyment than it is kind of grinding out a living, earning the dollar enjoyment. I, I'm just overwhelmed that it's been so financially successful. I, I never could have expected it, really. Congratulations once again to Matt Matros, your latest 2012 World Series of Poker Gold Bracelet Champion.